Four Face and Supreme have collaborated. They've just dropped their lookbook as well for that. Um, I'm not too sure if people care about the North Face and Supreme collaborations that much, but I still think they're probably one of the best parts of the North, of the Supreme drop, uh, whether it's spring, summer, or fall. I think if you look at it from the outside in, you've got the ability every year if you want to, because I think a lot of the jackets from North Face and Supreme hang around the shops a lot, a lot longer than you would think, especially if you go to the retail stores, if you've got access to go to them. I think you should definitely pop in. And what you've got the ability to do every year is get two pieces, or especially, yeah, yeah, from spring, summer, full winter, you've got the ability to buy on two different occasions a uh, one of a kind supreme and not face, or as one of a kind supreme jacket or accessory that won't be available on their because that, that's the thing they do really well. Supreme are very, or I don't know if they, who works with it or who decides, but they're very strict about never kind of dropping. Uh, the same sort of colorway or pattern of a Supreme collaboration. I think the only thing we've seen that's close to it has been maybe that leaf camo jacket and that red noopsie from that same season too, right? There was, a, there was that season where they had the noopsie in like the leaf camo and also had it in the orange, right? And I remember then a couple of seasons later, they released their own noopsie North Face did with the same sort of like block pattern of like the black on the top and the orange on the bottom. So that's the only time I've seen it happening, and they released something similar to the kind of uh, the leaf one. But they haven't so far done a polka dot. They haven't done necessarily like a cheetah print leopard one, like the famous one that Drake wore in that video. They've not done low. They've not done even the you know the crinkly paper one that just released now. They've not done the pony hair one. That, uh, sorry, the fur one that I have. There's a lot of that have come out that they haven't really copied. So I think that's a really good thing. So if you do actually get a Supreme and North Face collaboration, you know. For sure, they're not, they're not going to bring it out as a general release, you know, a couple of uh, weeks later after the fact. So that's a really cool thing to know. So this collaboration has just been announced. It's going to drop, I think, this Thursday. So that's why I probably announced it. So the following... Supreme has teamed up with North Face on a new collection for the Spring Summer 20 collection. Uh, the collection consists of an RTG jacket, vest, and RTG fleece jacket, RTG turtleneck, tee, backpack, utility pouch, and balaclava. I'm assuming RTG is a range, right? That they use. Um, made extremely for Supreme, the RTG jacket and vest features a waterproof, fully uh, seam sealed Gore Tex line, uh, nylon jacket with a removable waterproof and hydration compatible Gore Tex nylon utility vest. The RTG backpack and utility pouch feature the durable water resistant nylon with Cordora yarn which obviously is everyone's I think that those Cordora little pouches and stuff and waste bags they fly out uh, whenever they're in Supreme so definitely grab, grab a hold of those because they last you know I've still got one from like I don't know that I bought in 2005 or something that I still have and it just you know it does not die man they bulletproof those things the backpack features a removable front compartment with the side zip it's going to be available in supreme stores online uh, march 12th and it's available in japan stores uh and online on march the 14th so definitely check that out it's some pictures of it looking pretty cool i think they're utilizing a lot of their parisian models right i'm assuming these guys are from the paris store um which is pretty cool to see them kind of utilizing those basic models maybe to kind of uh, freshen up a bit from all the times they've used the same old models from new york and stuff but the north face archive man it's just insane isn't it i'm sure this is not like a I, I, I'm not sure if this is a, a newer model. I don't think it is. I think it's something they pulled out from the archive and did the, and kind of brought back. But it's so great. And again, the funnel face is good too because they probably don't want to take a risk and bring something back that no one buys in the store, right? Because North Face as a company is going to manufacture, I don't know, like a million units of that one jacket, right? And they can't risk not selling any. So if they have the ability to kind of introduce a new, introduce an old item to a new market, and use Supreme's platform to kind of speak to those kind of kids, get it sold out, get them acknowledging it, and then re-release the entire collection online as a kind of inline thing, and as a GR with not the same colorway. I think that would be, it's a great, clever idea, really. It kind of works on both parties. Supreme get the ability to make these really highly technical jackets uh, with the, one of the best manufacturers out in the market, and then North Face obviously gets the ability to kind of talk to the cool kids. Um, but again, I'm, I'm also curious to see how long this collaboration lasts, because the output from Supreme in terms of outerwear, especially in terms of like uh, waterproof, Gore-Tex, water resistant uh, uppers or kind of, you know, outer jackets that they've kind of made in the last few years, there's definitely been an increase. There's definitely been an increase in their ability or there's definitely been um, an expansion in terms of what they offer in terms of outerwear. They've definitely delved a lot into down jackets. There's been a lot more of that kind of stuff. So maybe it might reach a point where Supreme finally just starts doing everything in-house. Or maybe has, uh, or maybe works with North Face in the kind of same capacity that they work with, um, uh, what they call is it Raining Champs? What's the brand called that they made in the sweatsuit back in the day in Canada? Yeah, you know I mean, it might be something similar to that. They might just bring North Face in house and have them make like white label jackets and shit. But in general, I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks pretty cool. 
the vest I'm assuming attaches to the jacket itself, right? So you can wear it sort of on top. You've also got fleece as well there. It looks fucking banging. With a nice little pocket at the back there, which looks really great. It comes in all black as well with a nice little pouch. You've got this little turtleneck. But yeah, it looks fucking cool, man. Backpack. Oh, I love the, the kid with the massive Jesus uh, cross there. It looks really cool. And a t-shirt too with a print of the vest on the front. The face mask. But yeah, really, really great jacket. Big fan of it. I'm not, I'm not sure what the RTG thing stands for. Uh, maybe rugged technical gear or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it so far. I think it looks really, really great. I'm sure it's going to all sell out um, quickly, sooner rather than later. I'm assuming the, the red colorway is going to go. Anything, anything the models wear in the, in the videos or in the pictures always go first. So I'm assuming red and that neon green colorway will go first. And then all the rest of them will follow. I'm assume so. I assume so. That's what I assume. Um, but yeah, really cool collaboration. I like the look of it all. Uh, the fleece is very, very nice as well, actually. I like the actual addition of the little uh, overlay, little grey overlays in the pockets. It's really chill as well. And again, you've got the only benefit of always having the logo showing so people can know that what you're wearing isn't the common average thing. And they've got gloves as well. The face mark has got a little kind of, just like a, is that Sub-Zero from uh, Mortal Kombat sort of thing on the front as well. That's pretty cool. But yeah, big fan of it all. Big looks amazing. Um, again, if you're a fan of Supreme, definitely check it out this Thursday when it drops.